Simon, we made it 13 wins in the last 14 games with a big win over Workington Town on Sunday afternoon. Uh, looking back on that game, are you pleased with the performance of the squad? Oh, the, the second 40 was, was more pleasing. For those sort of games are as hard as you make them and we made it quite quite uncomfortable um, for a good 20 minutes of that first half at least. Um, yeah, there, there, honestly, there was a lot of good in it, but yeah, I just felt like we, we looked a bit like victims of, oh, it's a bit hot, you know, all them little bits and bobs that have excuses, if you like, that we could have thrown in and and not give our best uh, version of ourselves, which we didn't for 20 minutes. Fortunately, we had a chance to reassess half time, um, you know, air what's going on, um, a brief chat about it, and, and open the second half with a really good offensive set, finished on a good kick, which then was backed up by a good defensive set, and then we just got into a rhythm from there on out. And obviously there was some really good stuff in, in amongst it all. Keezy getting um, the record there, which is a, a big one. Obviously Tyra and um, John Schuster holding that, that record for such a long time. It's one that I wouldn't imagine it'll be beat any time soon, but had we played a bit more like it, it probably been, might have been a bit more of a larger margin between Keezy and the last bloke to get it. So yeah, good for Keezy, some good individual stuff overall, but. As always, always something to work on. And looking back on that game, you mentioned that it was really warm, really stifling conditions. So how happy are you to see that the fitness levels of the players really went through to the end and we still looked sharp and dangerous right up to the 80th minute? Yeah, I think that's testament to a few things, really. I think Scott's done a great job of them. Um, yeah, they've bought in to what we're trying to do fitness-wise, you know, all the extras that come around it. And it's hard when, you, when you're part-time to you know, get, stay on top of nutrition when you're on a building site through the day or whatever it might be, hydration, all the rest of it. But everyone's doing, doing the bit to make sure they are, which is great. And we've been there a few times, we've had a bit of practice with it. Um, you know, being 11 men, playing with, you know, with men down, 12 men, whatever it might be. So we're used to working hard. And, and also a bit of it comes down to the management side of it, I think, particularly the second 40. Keys you got older at game, we kicked better and you played the game in the right areas and the weather and that becomes somewhat irrelevant then. Um, it's much easier to play down there in the field obviously than it is your own. So yeah, we, we managed to swing that around and, and it had some benefits. You managed to make a few changes to the squad, freshen things up a bit. Um, how did the squad come through that contest? Uh, any injuries, any knocks, any anything else to report? Uh, obviously Lachlan, he's got um, a concussion firstly. Um, He'll have to go through the gradual return to play stuff and a shoulder injury in the act of, of attempting to score. So that could be a while. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. It's still quite um, early days, I suppose. It's only been a few days since he did it and he's not been able to exert himself too much because of the concussion protocol. So we'll, we'll check on that after the weekend, I think. Um, other than that, general lumps and bumps. It's round 20 this week. We're at that stage of season now where it's starting to not tell because I think everyone's in pretty good shape. We've, we've won dominantly a number of times which helps uh, your energy levels and we've managed to rotate here and there when it's been allowed and obviously like, giving Diz and Adzi a weekend off last week will help them so yeah we've managed to do all right out of it so far and I think yeah we're not we haven't picked up anymore it's just the bands that are, that are keeping us down to the, the bare minimum really. We'll come on to round 20 then it sees us making the long trip the last long trip of the year arguably down to the capital to face London Broncos a resurgent London Broncos who have found some form You've done your homework on them, what are you expecting from the Broncos? They're a much improved team, playing with a bit of confidence at the minute as well off, off the back of a good win at Bradford and prior to that they had a decent performance to be fair at home against um, Featherstone, um, at Ebb's Fleet, a um, different venue for them but yeah, they're, uh, listen they've got a load of athletic blokes who run fast, they're agile and strong. Then throwing that Pratt has now found, it, found his way to the halves and he's a running threat who, who's moving the ball around for him nice. And, We've got some big boys through the middle who are playing quite well and I think they haven't really got anything to lose, have they? They're in that position where, I dare say, we found ourselves 2019, you get to that stage, final third of the season, if you're not in the hunt for the playoffs, probably not in any real danger of, of, of the other battle. Um, it's, it's a tough spot to be in really, mentally, um, but they're playing confident, they've got a new... Um, a new coach leading things there, down there in the background. So that, yeah, they've got a bit of new impetus, which is probably helping them at present. And playing with a bit of a nothing to lose attitude, the ball's getting thrown around quite a bit in little challenges. And obviously our old mate Al Walker's playing there, and he's doing he's doing what he's good at, at fullback, chasing them kicks hard, and and coming up with some good plays for them. So we've got to be good. There's 
you know, there's no excuses. We've got some bands and all the rest of it. We can moan about it all we want, but it doesn't change anything. So we'll go with um, with a set of blokes who are determined to put in a good performance and, and lead us into bash when we get a few bodies back um, in a good position. Yeah, mentioning that being a bit low on troops, um, is there any sort of team news? Any looking like bringing any of the lads back that have been out on loan or anything of that nature? Um, no, no. Um, Cole Oakley is most likely to feature. We'll have to get through t tonight first and check everything, but uh, Elliot and Corey will stay with their, their loan clubs. Um, basically the rules, I mean, I don't know how well publicised the rules are, but if we were to pull them back this week, although we could loan them out at a later date, they couldn't feature for us in the playoffs. Whereas if we they remain on, on loan this week and we roll the dice um, with less numbers, um, they can come back to us should we need them. Um, I have a ne you know next week and featuring playoffs or round 27 if someone gets injured, touch wood, that no one does. Um, don't want to put the kiss of death on anyone, but yeah, they could be available for us. It's a, it's a really it's simple yet quite complex. I think the final third of the season is when everyone probably needs the most help. I, I understand and agree with, with the shut off point. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a tough one at the minute. There's a number of bands, not only us, a lot of people are getting bands, so people haven't been quite as forthcoming as we may have hoped and uh, with loans for the, you know to, to bolster our squad for the back end of the season but it is what it is we've got a good squad we've got a good squad to give it at the beginning of the season not specifically for having six blokes banned at once but specifically for the fact it is an, an attritional affair isn't it the season's hard and um, we'll definitely be be testing that, that squad this week as frustrating as those suspensions are do you feel it could be somewhat of a blessing in disguise come the back end of the year. We got to Feverston in the semi-final. Last year we were a bit busted. Those lads sitting out for a few weeks, a lot of them forwards, obviously um, resting up, fresh, freshening the squad up a bit. Do you, do you see, I think see that as a point? Or? Last year was a bit of a def different scenario, different kettle of fish, to be honest. So I don't really want to go, in, go into that. We were, we were a bit broken towards end, but that was for a number of reasons. Um, but yeah, you've got to find the positive in, in the situation you find yourself in, haven't you? And, Matt should be fresh, he's missed half a season anyway, he misses five and comes back. Um, obviously Greg returns next week, Ed, Cav, and then obviously Titus is going into appeal on Monday, whether that you know bears any fruit or not remains to be seen. But yeah, there's an argument to say we'll have some fresh bodies back at right end of the season and, and they'll give us a little nudge when we need it. So look, I'm not too interested in those blokes at minute, I don't want to sound a bit you know down on them or anything because I'm not, it's just where we're at as a game. But, we need to concentrate on the blokes that are playing, get behind them and make sure we're prepared well, full of confidence, ready to go and do a job.